Welcome back for another book review. Today we are talking about this one. So this is Strong, Calm, and Free, A Modern Guide to Yoga, Meditation, and Mindful Living by Nicola Jane Hobbs. I think that's how you're supposed to say that name. Anyways, this book. So once again, the title does kind of say it all. I will say this actually did feel like the more like actual approach to yoga where, especially in the West, we tend to think of it just as like a meditation in like, oh, well, you know, like you gotta focus on like what you're doing with your body, but that's about it. Where in more Eastern traditions, it's a very rich, very intense practice. And for us, it's really just like another form of like exercise really. <laughs> and I mean, it's a little more gentle, but it's still just exercise. This goes into all of the aspects of it, way more than you're gonna find traditionally here in like the US. The first bit of this book goes into what is yoga and a bit of the background of the author and just the practice in general. And again, how meditation and mindfulness play a part in yoga. It goes very full spectrum for it, not just like do some poses. <laughs> it's really awesome for that front. The rest of the book is set up in a 10 week system. So it slowly builds upon itself. So your initial practice should be like 10 to like 15 ish minutes. By the end, it'll be around an hour of a yoga practice that you'll be doing. I gave this one a four out of five star. Honestly, I was pretty surprised how helpful this book could be. Is it completely perfect? No. <laughs> there were a few poses that I was like, I don't know in the history of ever I'm gonna be able to do that like the crow one where you're just you're holding your whole body weight on your two little handsies and trying not to face plant the ground I just don't know that personally I'm ever gonna be able to do that a lot of these poses are actually not particularly like beginner friendly if you're not in some semblance of shape to begin with like some of these I'm not sure any time in my life I would be completely like in shape enough to handle it. I've always had really tight tendons and just, I'm not a very flexible person, which means when I fall, it's a bad thing. Probably means I should do yoga, <laughs> but like it's some of these poses, I'm just looking at it and I'm like, you need to have some flexibility. Cause it's like, like some of the early poses is like just bend in half down, like d boobs to knees. And it's like, ah, d Nope, <laughs> like first of all, and not bending your knees either. They're supposed to stay straight. Stretch that hamstring and it's like, mm, that's further away than I thought. So if you are like me and you're not very flexible and you're not in shape really yet, this might feel a little bit more intermediate to advanced on like a physical front, but there's plenty of really good options online to slowly get you in to where you can be exercised. Like a couple of my favorite ones, Jane Fonda, especially her old people edition is my favorite. She has a yoga routine. She has a morning one, an evening, I actually think she has a morning one and two evening ones. And those are very easy. Like some of the floor work is a little hard, but also like you need to practice getting on the floor. It sounds so stupid, but if you don't do it regularly, suddenly that skill goes away. And like your body's just like, well, I don't know. Just like skipping, if you haven't skipped in a long time, it actually takes a lot of muscles that you're like, how did I lose this? Same thing. So it's a good place to start. Once you move on to that, one of my favorite ones from way back in the day, I don't even know if this channel still publishes frequently, but it's the one that has always stuck in my brain. And I loved it when I was really more into yoga back in my college days is Tara Styles, and I don't have a specific video of hers to recommend, but uh, around the 2015 mark would be good. Like, those were just really easy to follow along with and weren't terribly difficult. I don't know that she's even still running that channel. Again, I'm sticking with Jane right now, but once you're like a little more flexible and you're a little more like able to move your body, then this book comes into play. Until such time, there's not a lot of accommodations for like, how to do things <laughs> until you're there. Cause there's like a fundamental starting point that if you're not at that starting point, you're gonna not be able to really do the things and have to significantly modify from the book itself. However, if you're relatively healthy and relatively flexible, like you're gonna have a great time starting here. There's so much information. I think it's a wonderful book to walk you through and begin the journey into learning about yoga and all of the different things with it. I love the sun salutation, but again, some of the poses, I just don't know what I'm gonna do there. <laughs> but it's really cool. And I think it really 
it walks you through learning yoga in a very, very great beginner way. Because like, yeah, you could probably find some local classes, but like, if you have social anxiety, they're not very close. Also, money's a thing. Like, I'm pretty sure the cost of this book is like, maybe the same, maybe even less than some of the classes. And obviously, this one in particular, free! Support your local libraries. They're awesome. <laughs> so like, you know, for me, it costs nothing to read through this book. And you could take notes and recheck it out as you need. But like, seriously, it's really not like that expensive. But some of these local classes can be. I mean, sometimes you could get in for maybe $10. I think more often than not, you're probably looking around like the 30 to 50 mark. Just because, I mean, it costs money to rent spaces and stuff. And I know Utah is one of the more expensive places to live. But yeah, just FYI, you can you can just do it from home. And again, if this book feels too, like, advanced, <laughs> you can find things on YouTube and then progress into this book. But it's a really good place to start learning about yoga. And again, the full spectrum of it, not just posing. So obviously, I would recommend this if you are beginning into yoga or you just want to deepen your experience with yoga. I feel like it's kind of like learning about, like, tarot or the runes. It's one of those things that it's like, Learning different perspectives and different takes on it still deepens your own inner working with the thing. Again, like tarot or the rooms <laughs> or yoga. Just to see somebody else's interpretation and how they would line things up and start things off. I think it's just a really good book if you are a beginner or just again kind of interested in the topic. So anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. A huge thank you to my patrons if you would like to support me and get access to exclusive content such as my audiobooks, additional book discussions, and then just whatever I'm doing with my craft. Currently we're going through STOW. Sometimes I have some other little things, life updates and stuff over there as well. And of course here on the main channel, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I try and post every single day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and blessed be.